Hello everyone, welcome to one more tutorial or lecture and today I wanted to do something very basic but I believe it's a very important to grasp which is the definition of hydrophobic and the definition of hydrophilic. You need to understand these two terms in order to go and understand a lot of the topics that we will discuss in biochemistry and also in your chemistry classes say in uh, high school or college for example. Now one of the first things that I should do before I go into a little bit more detail is to simply explain you what hydrophobic means, the definition of hydrophobic and hydrophilic. Now let's look at word origin. I love that because we always do that in medical school is go look at word origin so we can understand the background, understand a little bit of the history, let's say, of the word and also understand its meaning. So these words are or have Greek origin and hydro means water, phobic, if you heard about phobia, it's fear. When you fear something, you have a phobia, so hydrophobic. This means that molecules or parts of molecules will fear, let's say, water or will not interact with water very well. This is what hydrophobic means. And one of the things that is important to know about hydrophobic and also hydrophilic, these are physical properties of molecules. And you can say that a molecule is hydrophobic or even a part of the molecule is hydrophobic. Now hydrophilic, same thing, hydro meaning water. And this philic here means love. So love of water, meaning that a hydrophilic molecule will interact well with water and in some cases even be dissolved by water. So keep that in mind. Hydrophilic, hydrophobic, sorry, fear of water. So these molecules or the parts of the molecules will be um, or will not interact very well with water. Meanwhile, hydrophilic water loving substances or molecules will attract water or will interact very well with water. So I'm just drawing these arrows to give you a visual understanding of the interactions that these molecules will have and how we name them accordingly. 